Dear child of God, why do you worry? Why are you downcast and depressed? Do you not know who God says you are? God says that you are loved. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Now, what I want you to do today is remove the words, the world and replace it with the word, me. I want you to personalize the verse. For God so loved me, that he gave his one and only son, so that I may believe in him, and not perish, but have eternal life. I encourage you to embrace the word of the Lord, because Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 17 says, The Lord your God is with you the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. Once again, let's personalize and apply God's word to our lives. The Lord my God is with me, the mighty warrior who saves me. He will take great delight in me. In his love, he will no longer rebuke me, but will rejoice over me with singing. He will rejoice over me with singing. Claim God's word, saints. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 says, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, in accordance with the riches of God's grace. In him I have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of my sins, in accordance with the riches of God's grace. Claim the word of God. Deuteronomy 28 verse 3 says, I will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. Verse 6, I will be blessed when I come in and blessed when I go out. Verse 7, the Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against me will be defeated before me. They will come at me from one direction, but flee from me in seven. Dear child of God, there is power. There is life. There is victory when you declare God's promises over your life. And finally, I want you to claim this verse in the book of Luke. And it's one of those passages in scripture that gives us authority as children of God. It's one of those verses that empower us and can cause you to straighten up your back and raise your head because of the authority you're given by Jesus Christ. Luke chapter 10 verse 19 says, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. Once again, I encourage you to really own this verse and apply it to yourself. I have been given the authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm me. Now let us pray. Lord Jesus, my God Almighty, the one who is from everlasting to everlasting, be praised, be glorified, and lifted high. You are he who opens doors that no man can shut, and you can close doors that no man can open. I bow down and ask that you look upon me with mercy. Together with everyone under the sound of my voice, we acknowledge that we are not on the same level as you. You are divine. You are righteous and you are true. Your ways, O oh God, are higher. Your thoughts are higher. 
You neither sleep nor slumber, God. We bow down to you, Jesus. Help us, Holy Spirit, and remove the scales from our eyes so that we can truly see how desperately we need Jesus Christ in our everyday lives. We, as people, are limited. We are limited in strength, we're limited in power, and we're limited by nature and time. But the Lord, (laughs) you are limitless. Lord Jesus, you are worthy of praise because you are limitless in all your ways. You are not bound by time. You are not bound by nature. You are God and God alone. You speak and it is done. You speak and it is truth because you are not a man who should lie. Because of this, I yield to you. I yield to your Holy Spirit. I surrender and say that my life is yours. It's in your hands. I bow down and submit to your word. May I be a person who is obedient and attentive to God's word. May I be a person who lives a life that's principled by your word, Lord Jesus. May the Holy Spirit give me the discipline to meditate on the word of God day and night. I pray that the worship that comes forth from my heart may be to say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. I choose not to place my faith in man. My faith is not in the government or any ruling authorities. My faith is not in anything that I can see in the world around me. But I confess that my faith is in the living Son of God, Jesus Christ. My faith is in the one who spoke the words, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Lord, as your child, I choose to believe in only who and what you say I am. I will trust only in the assurance of your word because it is life to those who believe. It's in your endless love that I have my faith anchored. You loved me before I even knew you. You first loved me, Lord, while I was still in my mother's womb. Your word says in 1 John chapter 4, verse 9 and 10, this is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. I thank you for such a precious and unfailing love. A love that will never let me down. A love that will never abandon me. I appreciate you, Lord. And I am grateful for all you do. Master, I thank you. I adore your name. And I say that you are holy. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.